Hello and welcome to another episode of All The Mods 2. Uh, I've got lots of wrenches on me. Uh, one of the things I thought I'd begin by uh, showing you is... Yeah, I just, I, I really think this is like such a good cable setup. It took a long while to actually get to this point. I mean, maybe this could go directly and that would be a little bit cleaner. Um, but aside from that, it's a pretty nice cable setup, I think. Uh, it looks cool with this as well. What I did here is I simply took the power from the uh, uh, Environmental Tech solar panel and I just put it straight into uh, uh, the power cell, which powers the controller. So what happens now is that during the night, normally when this cable was directly plugged into the controller during the night what would have of course happened is that it would get that flickering and that huge lag spike because it tries to as it is you know it basically just fucks it all up right so instead what i did here was um uh yeah it just it just works a little bit better during the night uh whether it will last the whole night i'm not sure uh it's got a little bit of a buffer but i can't get a better a um uh, yeah, Emerald was was actually searching before. Before, pretty difficult to get uh, Emerald, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's no real way to get Emerald uh, apart from. Yeah, could potentially get it out of scrap boxes. Uh, I did do a lot of searching around. Uh, if we look, uh, uh, I think yeah, funnily enough, you actually get the. Uh... Yeah, you see, if I stand here, I didn't even realize you stand here, you actually get the map. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of searching around. Um, there used to be, I don't know quite what's going on with the terrain, to be honest, but there used to be like um, a village nearby, and I just can't seem to find it, unless it's just slightly off. But I see the problem is there's this area, a lot of the uh, terrain got changed in the 111.2 update. Okay, so what would I like? I wouldn't mind getting an importer, actually. Um, do I have an importer? Let's have a look. Oh, was that the, one of the things that I didn't actually... Uh, let's have a look at what craft tools I've got here. Uh, I feel like I did quite a lot of them. Uh, destruction core uh, and construction core I did. So an importer, actually, it may just be a simple case of putting this in the pattern grid. Now, did I have cable here? Uh, only craftables. Is cable one of the craftables? Uh, it doesn't look like it. So we'll have to do cable uh, and then that should be that. Okay, so cable requires these items. Uh, pretty sure quartz enriched iron was on the list. Yeah. Um, so I did put some stuff in the uh, pattern grid, anticipating stuff like this might happen. Um, so the cable will be that. So there we go. So that is simple, uh, a simple crafting recipe, and that will go into the crafter. Um, so the importer. Uh, Again, it's just a simple crafting recipe. Uh, now, assuming that everything I did before went well, uh, which I hope it did, um, we're going to try to see if I can request an importer now. Okay, <laughs> well, there's not really a test yet, but because um, I probably already had all the stuff. But anyway, so what do I want to do? Well, what I'd like to do in this episode is to focus on getting the tech uh, funnily enough right the solar panel has changed forget about I as, as I've kind of already established all the tech reborn machines will be powered with tech reborn and all the uh, and the and basically everything else is going to be powered uh, with the environmental tech um, what it means is that probably uh, most of these tech reborn machines at this stage I'm still very low tier tech reborn machines so what that uh, means is that I'm going to want to um, have more solar panels uh, to try to, because one solar panel, if I'm going to have three or four machines running, will not cut it at all. Um, unfortunately, though, uh, the recipe is a little bit harder than I anticipated. So, uh, also, I don't even recall, but for some reason, the lazarite plates are now here. Uh, and lazarite plates are, you can get it from extracting some lapis in industrial centrifuge. Um, so what I would like to do, I think, is I like this setup with the crafter here. Um, you see, I've got the cabling sorted, right? I've got the cabling sorted exactly how I want it. So what that means is then, and obviously I don't want to, um, 
I don't want to go beyond this point, but I can go. There's plenty of space to go down here, isn't there? Um, so yeah, I mean, that may be a bit awkward with the cabling. Uh, hmm. The problem is, is that if I break this cable, it's going to be some problems. But we'll we'll get to that when uh, we'll get to that when I get to. It, I guess. Um, I may that may be. Hmm. I kind of would like to sort that out that problem out now though. Um, because let me just look where the cable is here. Yeah, I mean, I could go one further back, couldn't I? But I'm I'm wondering if there's really any benefit to that. Because, you see, if I break the cable, the game will crash 100%. So that's like a bit of a problem. Hmm... Yeah, you see, there's not really much point in that. Because, you see, I could just go directly into the bat box from... Uh, just trying to think. Yeah, you see, if I just went directly up in into it from there, that would be much more sensible, wouldn't it? Like, much more sensible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop recording for a moment, and then I'm going to come back once I've sorted this uh, cable situation out. Okay, so this is all the setup I've come up with. So potentially we can fit another three machines here, and then potentially even do another... I mean, maybe I could do, similar to this uh, pattern of the wiring uh, over here, I could potentially do that again, like another level, like uh, coming, maybe coming up here. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see how I'd do the second level. Um, but for now, we're just going to fill in these three gaps here um, with various machines that I've got. So, yeah, let's look at what machines I've actually got left. Um, I've actually got them here. Compressor and industrial centrifuge. So they're probably going to want to go down here. So we'll give them both power. Uh, yeah, so I think it will just really, realistically, so there's the furnace, elephant's grinder, extractor is over here. Uh, put uh, the compressor here. Uh, and the industrial centrifuge there. Uh, so that way it'll be pretty simple to extend things underneath. And the final one, of course, will be the industrial grinder. Uh, and that should do it. Um, so, yeah. So now, for instance, if I wanted to, you know, just... Uh, um, uh, yeah, just get some lapis. And put that in here. What was it? Four that I needed? Yeah, a few. That'll be fine. And I'll be able to get Lazarite dust and stuff like that. Um, so, we want to get up to the point where we can do a lot of stuff, right? So, this thing, it's been okay, but it's not really, it doesn't really serve much uh, value at this point. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Uh, I can actually just block this off here like that. Okay, so... I've got me a spawn in. Uh, yeah. So what do I want to do? Well, I've got the importer. Uh, one of the most important things, of course, will be to make the circuits. So I'm going to want to say that... Um, so we know that in the extractor, for instance, um, one sap goes to three, right? Let's have a look. Three rubber. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I've got tin. I've got some tin. What about copper situation? I've got some copper. Iron. I've been making copper iron. Okay, so I've got a few resources at the moment. So it makes three, right? Uh, so the patterns. Patterns I know I'm going to need more of, like I always do. So we'll get them on the go as well. Let's just check. I guess I don't need to be too aware of the nighttime thing. Uh, I'm going to want more crafters for everything here as well. So, yeah. Um, but everything should be going well. Yeah, I guess really the priority will be the solar panel, won't it? Because if once I make more of these, I'll get a bit more power. Uh, a generator. Do I have a generator spare? I might do. It's one of those things that I actually could have. It's not like I do, though. Oh, well. 
Okay, so let's... Uh, yeah, so one sap makes three, so let's do that in the processing pan here. Um, so we'll put the importer... Let's just do the importer right... Well, not there. So the importer can go below the extractor, so that should be right about... Yeah, right here. Luckily with these cables, it doesn't matter so much if you break them. Okay, so that would be cool. Uh, that cable will be much too much to break. Yeah, I could just make the importers now. Just stick them all on. Yeah, really, I just need importers and I need... Uh, yeah. So we've got the patterns coming. So yeah, so anyway, let's do that one then. So... Um, one piece of... S um, one piece of sap. I've actually got a few in here already. Equals three rubber. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. And that is in the extractor. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to need... Potentially, the industrial grinder will come as well, won't it? But I haven't... Yeah, I will just about be okay with this row. I don't know. I'm still not really happy with that, and it's a super bad that it doesn't come out this bottom. Um, but what can you do? So I'm going to need more crafters, more importers, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Okay, so the importers... Like another four of those, maybe? Pattern here. We're actually doing all right on patterns for now. So what do we have? We've got import to a cable. So basically, none of these patterns that we've done so far—they're all these are all basically, apart from so, you know, kind of some of the vanilla type stuff, all basically refined storage patterns. So now we want to start thinking about the. Um, so we've got the importers coming. Luckily, these. This should be going a bit faster with the speed upgrades. It looks like it is, actually. Um, it looks like this is going much better. Yeah. It all looks pretty... I mean, I could have two of these. I don't know. It's going pretty nicely, though, isn't it? Interesting. Actually, they populates two of them. That's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I just love seeing how this thing works. It's pretty cool, actually. And that looks like it's already done. Yeah, wow. All right, so I'm going to want some crafters as well. Another three will do. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, the redstone is missing, eh? Oh, dear. Yeah, redstone missing is not good. That is not good at all. Hmm. Redstone seeds, eh? That's tier three. That is tier three. I'm surprised I ran out of redstone, to be honest. Um, how much redstone do I have at the moment? Eight pieces, wow. Where did that all go? I think probably I'm, I think I, I yeah that was probably one of the things that I collected a load of and then it, my thing got wiped. Hmm. Right, I'm not going to worry too much about that now. Let's just focus on trying to get some of the basic items done. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So the electronic circuit is going to require a copper cable. Let's do the copper cable then. So we've already taught it how to do rubber. This is just a crafting recipe then. Okay, so copper cable. Uh, we can use copper. Uh, yeah. So that's just a crafting recipe for this. And what else do we need? Refined iron. 
Let's just iron smelt it. Okay, so I've probably already got some in here, yeah. So one iron uh, or twenty. One iron is equals one refined iron. And that's simply a smelting recipe in here. Now this is still doing stuff from the looks of it. Oh no, maybe it's not. Hmm. Yeah. I hope that won't interfere with anything else though. Um Yeah, so I probably might need a like we'll see anyway. I mean I can do I can also do stuff for bronze, can't I? Like if I want to make bronze, I could do it in the uh Yeah, you know, stuff like this. Might want to do that. Uh, I don't actually have a thing for the alloy furnace yet, though. Uh, just want to—I just want to just you know think about what I'm actually going to be building. Like I say, the solar panel I may want to build it. Uh, the plates and stuff. So this is actually quite a complex recipe, isn't it? So to get coal dust, uh, we could centrifuge soul sand. That's one way of doing it. Or netherrack dust. Hmm, I wonder what way I can get redstone then. Just, it just is as I happen to not have it at the moment. Oh, I can do that, can't I? Get it directly from glowstone. That seems quite pricey though. Netherite dust, getting one for 16 seems not worth it though. Uh, I don't know. It, the, the thing is, right, it will depend what seeds I want to go for, won't it? Like, um, like at the moment, for instance, I've got a little bit of glowstone. Probably not going to want to use too much, so I could just bung this in the centrifuge. There's my lazarite. There's my solar light. Okay, let's empty my inventory a bit. How am I doing? Not too bad. Uh, let's just put some of these machines away for now. Okay, so yeah, we're doing, yeah, so I'm going to definitely want to have something on the industrial centrifuge, it's looking like I'm using this all the time at the moment. So we've got some sodalite, some calcite, some pyrite, pyrites, I mean, sodalite, I always feel like that's more important than others. It looks pretty important. I do wonder how I'm going to go round though. Maybe I, what I'll end up doing is go round all the way here and go in this wall because I haven't actually got anything here. So maybe this could be a way to go around. Uh, and it might make this, this might not look so bad if I go all the way around with it. We'll see. And then I can potentially do something similar around at the bottom as well. Um, so yeah, so. Only craftable. So we've got copper cable. Uh, so electric circuit should be electronic circuit rather. Should be yeah. So we've got the refined iron. We've got the copper cable, right? Yeah. So it's just a simple crafting recipe. Okay. Uh, and the advanced again it's just a simple crafting recipe so I'll just do it here, I'll just do it at the same time maybe uh, that's going to be fine, yep so let's try requesting an advance, shall I? why not? So I've already happened to have three here let's just take another though okay, yeah it's already available but I don't know. Okay, so we I would like to just be able to make these solar panels. Um you know, ultimately they are still pretty useful. So you could say, oh you look at these ones provide so much more, but okay, so to get the solar panels then, I'm gonna to need to be able to the thing about the generator, right? If you look at the recipe for generator, it makes windmill, watermill, 
thermal generator, heat generator, uh, semi-fluid generator, diesel generator. And I may want to look into some of these, right? Um, so making a generator is not the worst idea. Um, so I'm going to need to get a machine block and furnace I probably haven't done either. That is not good. What that tells me is that I would love to know what the time of day it is actually. What that tells me is the buffer in that in the power cell is not high enough. But unfortunately I haven't got like um You see this is probably almost f Yeah, you see it's automatic it's exporting everything out at the moment. If this was bigger if the buffer of this was bigger, it wouldn't do that. But you see, I can't get Prismarine though. That's the problem. I would need to get this. And you can't. And you know, I'm not doing that. That is this recipe to me is, is just unacceptable. You that is just like no. Even though there is quark now, the quark thing is better, right? Because at least you have to find the stuff and they are, you know. But anyway, so. Okay, so what do I want to do now? Um, let's just check. Is furnace on the list of craftables? No, it's not. So we're going to need to have a furnace here. And what I might want to do as well is just look through, like, look through the patterns. Like you can already see that some of these are not really... Like, sugar doesn't really belong there, right? Pattern doesn't really belong there. Uh, when you say machine frame, which one are you referring to here? Four iron, two lapis, two gold nuggets. That's not that one, is it? It's the RF tools one that you're referring to. Yeah. So that is RF tools. Upgrade crafted destruction called machine casing. Machine casing is... Okay, so we want to get... Import and cable... Cable and import. This, of course, doesn't actually make any difference, but it makes it easier to see what the fuck is going on. Okay. So for now, we're going to leave these in here. Yeah, you can see that's the RF tools. That's okay for now. How many crafters do I actually have left? So yeah, I would like to extract some glowstone actually in the centrifuge. How many do you need to get for get the redstone out? Was it sixteen? It may have been sixteen. Yeah, it was. So I get sulfur and also helium. Yeah, just to have a little bit more redstone just for the next part of the task because I know I also know that there's. Um, uh, there's a lot of I can get a lot of glowstone, but I can also get a lot of redstone. So neither of them are particularly uh, uh, problematic at this point. What is problematic? This is not working. That makes no sense. Is this the wrong machine for it? Industrial centrifuge? No, it's not. Sixteen glowstone. Well, wow. doesn't even work. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've empty cells, of course. Always forget that one. Not always, but I've done it once before, and I forgot that. Uh, empty cells. Let's get some of those. There you go. No, is that not enough? Yes, it is. 
very slow process though from the looks of it. Okay, so that that we that we uh, on its way doing that. Um, but yeah, I think um, I don't know. I'm just going to carry on doing this, I guess. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff to do. Um, I do want to get the solar panels pretty badly though. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to. There's going to be various things to do with this, um, and I will carry on doing it. So thanks for watching.